Have you ever wondered why you work so hard, yet you still seem to get ahead financially? Isn't it frustrating? So in today's video, you'll learn why most of us have been programmed to stay poor and what you can do to grow your wealth and get out of that mindset. And make sure you talk searching towards the end because I'll be revealing one simple tip that you can grow your wealth faster even if you lack the money. So the biggest thing that's keeping most people poor is how we've been programmed since we were kids at school. Now have you ever heard this before and been taught this? Go, go to school, get good grades, go to university or college and then go get a high paying job, then buy a nice house, pay it off over 30 years, go retire. This is what most people do and that's why they say broke. So what can you do differently? Because remember, we've been taught to get a job, trade our time for money. And it's always the first thing that we think of where we need to make money or make a living. So what can you do? Remember, remember this one tip. The rich value the time. The poor trade their time for money. Remember, we only have 24 hours a day. So even you're a high paying CEO, even though you're a high paying coach, if you're always trading your time for money, you will always have a capped income potential. So what can you do instead? Now, the rich understand the word called leverage. Now leverage is basically increasing your output with the same amount of input. So what are some examples of leverage? So there is something called knowledge leverage. So rather than spending, let's say 30 years learning how to invest in real estate, making all this trial and error, why not invest in a coach or mentor or do a short course on how you can actually profit and grow your wealth safely and quickly through real estate. So basically this is what I've done. Rather than spending 30, 40, 50 years figuring out how to become a multi-millionaire in real estate, I've done that in five years because I've invested in mentors and I've also got professionals to really teach me the game of real estate. So what can you do to get ahead? Get a coach, get a mentor, learn the skills to become wealthy rather than doing what everything else, everyone else does, which is wait 30 years, trial and erroring and you know, hope for the best. But that's why they don't get rich quick enough. Now, the second source of leverage is time leverage. So what would you rather do? Work 40 hours a week in a standard job and have 40 hours of output or would you rather work in a team with four people working 10 hours each? Of course, the latter. Four people with 10 hours each. Now, this is the leverage here. You're leveraging other people's time so that you can also increase your output of that as well. And also, you are saving time yourself as well. So that's time leverage. And this is why business owners get rich much more quickly than employees. Because employee, you're trading your time for money. If you stop working, you don't get paid. But as a business owner, let's say you own a franchise, a McDonald's franchise, the CEO, have you ever noticed, is they're never working in the franchise. That he's probably playing golf off somewhere, right? But all those workers in the McDonald franchise, they are working for the CEO. That is leverage, guys. Amazon master this, Apple master this, and that is how the rich keep getting richer. And lastly is money leverage. This is my favorite because I'm a real estate investor, is imagine you want to buy a $1 million property. It's very difficult to save $1 million, right? That's what the broke do. They save $1 million and they, and they try to buy a house outright. They probably won't ever, ever, ever gonna do that in their lifetime. But what you can do instead is, you can have, let's say, a 20% deposit, $200,000, and you borrow the rest, 80%, which is $800,000 from the bank. So all of a sudden, $200,000 of cash that you put into the deal, you're able to control a large asset of $1 million. That is how I've made my money in real estate, borrowing other people's money and using it to make myself more money. So that is the game of real estate, guys. It's all about how you can leverage other people's money and make more money after that. Now, one of the most common theme that I see in broke people, because a lot of people come to me and go, Matt, I lack money, is that they lack financial literacy and they lack the knowledge of making money. Now, I'll give you a phrase here. It's easy to make money. It's hard to keep money, and it's even harder to multiply money. Now, most people can make money. You just go and you know, get a job or whatever, and you make money. Right? Everyone can do that. But very few people I've noticed is, even though they have a high paying job, but their bank account is almost zero, they're broke. 
because they spend money on dumb stuff like buying those Chanel bags, buying those LV, Gucci belts, they buy those flashy cars which they can't even afford. So it's so easy to spend money but it's not easy to keep money. And remember, if you don't have money to, to, to invest, you can't multiply money, which is the last step. And most people can keep money, the savers, they keep money, they hoard money, they put away in the you know, superannuation, the 401k, but they never really invest it. It's just like a long-term thing. But the rich, the wealthy, don't understand how to also multiply money, the money that they've saved, multiply money through a business through real estate, through stocks. And that is where knowledge and skill and experience comes into play. And those three, you really need to really be in the game to learn it. But my favorite is learning from a course or coach or mentor because that's how you can accelerate your learning rather than spending decades trying to master that art of investing. So that is why most people stay broke. They can't even save enough to overspend and they've got poor habits. Because habits lead to long-term results, okay? So even though you can win the lottery, but I can almost guarantee you, if you don't have the right mindset to keep the money, if you don't have the right knowledge to multiply the money, if you don't have the right habits to keep the money and also be able to multiply that as well, then you're most likely to go back to where you are, or even worse. Yeah, so you see so many sports people, so many lotto winners, they make a fortune, and then they lose it all after a few years. That is so common. You can Google all the sports stars who've lost all their money when bankrupt. There's countless, I don't name any names. But that's why if you are feeling like you've worked so hard, but you're staying poor, then your bank account isn't moving, observe your habits because that is probably where the, the fault lies. But if your habits are good, if you're a good saver, maybe invest into knowledge of how to invest properly. So don't follow the hype of the crypto or the tech stocks. That's what happened in the bubble. Last year, I won everyone, you know, stocks and these um, crypto guys trying to try show off all the wins. Where are they now? They're probably hiding under the rock because they've been speculating, they're not investing. So, so many things I wanna share with you with that, but that is the key thing. Remember, staying broke is all about having poor habits and having a poor mindset, which has been programmed to us since we were a child. Now, if you wanna learn how to invest like a pro, master the art of the market cycles, this is the one of the most best videos that I've made that I've learned from Ron Buffett and my mentors investing, which can speed up your investing journey, even though you don't have much money. So hopefully, this will stop making you stay poor. Let's get wealthy together. See you on the next video.